what is going on everyone today we are in London Mayfair and we are visiting Micah As if by magic, it's the new Leica TL2. The first thing that hits you when you turn this thing on is this absolute monster of an LCD. That is enormous. It's a whopping 3.7 inch touchscreen display with a 1.3 million dot resolution. This takes up nearly all of the back of the camera with just a little bit of space to rest your thumb. Although it follows the same design and they look very similar, there have been some major improvements over the original TL. Instead of the original 16 megapixel sensor, we now see that upgraded with a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor with an improved ISO sensitivity range which goes from 100 to 50,000. Video specs have also seen a welcome upgrade, allowing the TL2 to shoot 4K at 30 frames per second and full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second. The autofocusing is extremely quiet, it's also very fast. Like we're keen to point out that they've made some serious speed improvements to this camera. Thanks to a couple of Maestro 2 processors, autofocusing can be locked on in 165 milliseconds. That's nearly three times faster than the original TL. The camera's start-up time is five times quicker and up to eight times quicker for gesture control. A shutter speed range of 30 seconds to 4,000th of a second with a 7 frame per second shooting speed is offered by the mechanical shutter. However, there is a silent, fully electronic shutter that extends this to 1 40,000th of a second and gives a shooting speed of 20 frames per second in DNG RAW. This can extend to 29 frames before the camera's buffer is full. Look at that! That is JPEG and DNG file. One thing a lot of Leica like, TL users asked for was to be able to shoot simultaneous RAW and JPEG images, and now possible. Just one of the many improvements that TL2 has over the original TL. To preview an image, no messing around, no pressing playback buttons on the back, on the front. They've done away with the playback button, and all you do is you just swipe down the menu, and that's the last picture you took. In the original TL, we had some real simple menu systems, which we absolutely loved, but this has simplified it all over again. It's less like a traditional camera, and more akin to a smartphone than anything else, and it gives a really good shooting experience. The menu system is just insane. Like anything, these menus take a little while to get used to, like opening a new app for the first time. In different shooting modes, the LCD display actually changes. You can actually customise these dials really quickly. So you could be shooting in AV and control your exposure compensation, or you could be shooting in shutter speed priority, and you could also be changing your focus mode. I can't help but wonder why this has never been done before. I think this really makes sense. I'm so impressed. Now let's talk lenses. At the moment, there's a 60mm macro, a 35 and a 23mm prime. And zoom lenses covering a total of 11 to 200 millimeters made up of three separate lenses. It's fair to say they've covered off quite a lot, but perhaps not as much as Sony or Fuji or any of those other systems. But remember, this is Leica. So you're looking at 1,325 pounds just for the 18 to 56 millimeter 3.5 to 5.6 lens. Oh, and around two grand for the 60 mil macro and the 35 mil 1.4. Costly. However, anyone that already owns Leica M lenses or SL lenses can adapt those to fit the Leica TL, which is a bonus for Leica users. I can't help but feel we'd be missing something if you didn't buy the optional EVF. There's something about this camera, with the heavy lenses on the front and the very sleek design body, you just want to hug that thing real close. <laughs> I'd definitely be buying this. At the cost of £370, the EVF is an expensive addition to the camera, and it doesn't stop there. There's no built-in flash either, so that could have you forking out over £300 for a Leica flash gun. While it's pretty unlikely that many of you will be rushing out to spend £1,700 on a body-only Leica TL2, it's certainly a camera that demands respect. The control layout is very unique, and Leica have a superb shooting experience unlike anything else. I can't help but feel that this is a step forward into the future of photography, and something we'll definitely see in cameras in the future. 
for now the event is over and we will be getting a sample very very soon to test and review so make sure you like comment and subscribe to photo gear news and do all that good stuff goodbye